originally from Tennessee. I grew up in Florida, West Palm Beach. Um, you know, um, I was bound to alcohol and drugs. Um, when I was young, when I was in fourth grade, I was in a coma from cat scratch fever. And uh, being in that coma, the doctors had told my mother that I wasn't even going to live. And then um, my grandmother, she um, sent out prayers to all the churches that she knew of and everything. And um, so a couple a couple weeks went by. I was still still in a coma. Um, I came out of my coma. Um, the doctor said I was going to be a, a vegetable. Um, and um, the next day, I woke up. You know. And, um, so when I went to school, back to school, they put me in. Um, special ed classes. So all my life they told me that I was going to be retarded, that I was never, you know, people made fun of me. Um, so all of my life I believed that. So I felt that I had something to prove. So in order, so doing that, I um, joined a gang, you know. I was on the streets at a young age. Um, I was reckless. Uh, everywhere, I got bullied a lot, you know. So I always had a, to prove a point, but in reality I was Fear. I was full of fear, so I wasn't. I wasn't scared to die. I was ready to die because I was so miserable with, my, with myself, believing these lies from the devil. Um, so, and at 18 years old, I my whole family turned their back on me. So I went to Florida, West Palm Beach, and um, and doing that, I was homeless, didn't have nowhere to go. So I was in the streets. Um, scared for my life at first, and then I became very angry at my family and held a lot of resentments. And I had to do things that I never wanted to do to survive, you know. And then I hurt people. I was in uh, mental hospitals. You know, they said I was um, schizophrenia. And I haven't been on my medicine in a year because Jesus delivered me. Come on. Jesus, man, he, he saved me. He pulled me out of the pit. You know? Like, for real. Like, I was, I was, like, bound. Like, I was just lost in this dark place. I was confused. Didn't know which way to go. You know, um, I had my daughter. My daughter's three years old. And she was... So her mother... My daughter's a miracle. You know, and that's when I first started really believing in God. Because my, my daughter's mother, she was um, on heroin. We were both on heroin when she was pregnant with my daughter. Um, so the day she had her, she did heroin. My daughter came out without a withdrawal, without a drug in her system. She's a miracle. So that's when I really started searching, like, searching for God. I was praying. I was hopeless. I was dope sick every day. I didn't want to feel like that no more. Um, so God, I started praying out to God, you know, and God took me out from Florida and put me to North Carolina where I got clean. Um, Right now, I'm coming up on my ear clean, like yeah. on my drugs. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, if, if you have any doubt in your mind or in your heart that, you know, that God doesn't love you, He does. Because, um, someone like me, I don't deserve to be standing here right now. I deserve, you know, but God gives us what we don't deserve. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. thank you very much. Wow.
Sorry. Oh.